Hello, my name is Light Wizard, and I will be your host for these series of videos introducing you to the Trinary Engine. The Trinary Engine is a binary bit idea from the Light Wizard that will change the way you view the universe. Welcome to Lesson 1. In this lesson we will cover the basic introduction and theory of a Trinary Engine. In later lessons we will go over practical applications for their use, such as powered plants and propulsion engines, and how these engines have been around since the beginning of time and used throughout the universe. A trinary system uses 0, 1, and negative 1, as seen here. The 1s can change to a 0 state, and the 0 can change to a 1, and negative 1 state only, such that a 1 will never change to a negative 1 nor a negative 1 into a 1, and the two 1s do not cancel each other out. In a balanced state you will always have at least a 0, and a set of 1, and negative 1, as seen here, noting that the only reason why the states change, is to balance the equation. My proof for this system is, states, 1 plus negative 1 equals 0, function of 0, f of 0, equals set of 1 and negative 1 balanced state b such that f of 0 equals 0 as you can see if you try to add the ones you will have the ones on one side of the equation and the zero on the other the function of zero will always be a union of one and negative one as a set a balanced equation will consist of a set of 1 negative 1 and 0 it is important to understand that the ones did not cancel each other out, and become zero. They simply changed places in the equation, and the equation stays balanced. This is a state. It is in a zero state, or a one, negative one state. The logic of this equation is to be represented as a physical state of molecules in quantum physics, which we will discuss later in lesson two, but for now you must understand this logic in its simplicity. A trinary engine is a 3D engine, and each level must be understood clearly, so let's start with a 2D model. The 0, 1, and negative 1 form a triangle, also known as a triad, trinity, or pyramid. The three trinary bits bond to each other in a very predictable way. The 1 and negative 1 form a single pair as a function of 0 and are always on opposite sides of this triangle, as seen here. Note, there is always a balance. There will always be one zero to one set of one, and negative one. This is a single set, zero, and one, and negative one. This logic forms the basis of trinary engine theory, but in order to introduce this theory into a 3D object, you must first understand this logic, and how we can only manipulate it but never break the balance of the equation. To illustrate this in a way your brain can understand better, I have created a model you can play with. So take a piece of paper. Then fold it in half, at the dotted line. Now unfold it. Write a zero on the top, and bottom half of the same side of the paper. Turn the paper over, and write a one on the top half and a negative one on the bottom half of the same side of the paper. Now fold it back, so that the zero is on the outside. Note, you can turn it over, and see a zero on both sides of the folded paper. Now fold it so the one, and negative one are on the outside. Then turn it so that the one is facing you. Now turn it over, and you will see the negative one on the opposite side. You can play with this model. And note that the 1 and negative 1 never come in contact with each other. The 0 did not disappear. It is in the middle. But still exist and keeps the 1 and negative 1 from coming into contact with each other. By flipping the paper over, we simulate a state change. This is how this equation operates. In a 2D space, the two states that can exist are 0 or 1, and negative 1, which means that the equation will be in the 0 state, or 1, negative 1, state, representing one state of the trinary bits. 
to be a balanced set it will always consist of a zero and a set of one negative one as stated earlier such that it will require two bits to be in opposite states you might note that the two states of the bits can change states causing them to swap places that is the zero is always viewed as being the outside state and the one negative one is the inside state as i will show next a trinary engine in a 3d space will consist of two or more sets of states or sets of trinary bits but will always balance out as seen here as a zero and a set of one and negative one the function of zero or the pair of one and negative one is inside the zero that is a very important concept because for the equation to be balanced it must maintain this state which we will call the balanced state or simply the trinary engine the unbalanced state in an unbalanced state you will have the set of one and negative one outside of the zero which is in the proof one plus negative one greater than zero which is a false statement the only way this can happen is if the rate of change exceeds the ability for the equation to balance itself out when the total number of sets of f of zero inside the equation are greater than the total number of zeros on the outside of the equation that can be contained in the sets which forces one or more of the states to the outside of the equation thereby destroying the integrity of the equation mathematically this is hard to imagine without the use of the butterfly effect in chaos theory which will be discussed in a future lesson but for now it is important to understand this concept as it will be further expanded upon in lesson two to more fully comprehend the implication of this state the trinary engine can grow that is we can add more balanced equations to it in such a way that it grows a cumulative on a one per one basis this state happens when a single set of f of zero or one and negative one is added to a balanced function the first state change will happen when the two functions are added the state of the equation on the outside will always switch to its zero state it will then combine with the zero states of the outside equation such that zero plus zero equals b the balanced equation in order to balance the equation an equilibrium must take place in a function called quiescence the function of quiescence brings balance to mathematics as it does in nature another function called containment is needed to ensure that the mass of the engine can be contained by the growing number of ones in the chamber the chamber wall is in essence the zeros containment has a relationship that requires the zeros to grow exponentially for every set of ones inside its chamber containment and quiescence work together to keep the balance of the equation containment works on the outside of the chamber on the zeros while quiescence works on the inside of the chamber on the ones laws of containment if the balanced function is in a state of ones it will change states to a zero if a balanced function is in a state of zero no state change is necessary containment then adds to the existing outside state of zero now the function containment determines if it can add more ones to it by checking the function of quiescence if the quiescence of ones plus another set of ones is less than the required number of containment of zero to contain them it will then change the state of a zero two ones and add it to the inside equation otherwise the outside zero is allowed to grow once the function containment adds a set of ones to the function of quiescence the function of quiescence will determine if it can be contained by checking with the function of containment as a checks and balance this was a basic overview of the trinary engine next we will talk about the quantum mechanics behind it so please continue with lesson two of this series trinary engine was written by jeffrey scott and rod rimlin a binary bit production for the light wizard lightwizard.com email us at admin at lightwizard.com thank you